We're going to tell you how to put together a simple wireframe shelf for display of artwork. First of all, get yourself seven of these. You can see this is a Rubbermaid wire linen shelf, 16 inches by 6 feet. We'll show you a wider view here in a second. Here's a wider view of the single shelf, 16 inches by 6 feet, wire with white vinyl coating. Get yourself some zip ties. This was from Harbor Freight, 100 in a kit. They're 11 inches, which is probably longer than you need. You're going to cut some off, but certainly this would work. You will see I've zip tied the one shelf to the other. I haven't tightened this completely tight yet because I want to leave some slack while I assemble this. Also, if you look at the edges, this has the angled edge on the outside as does this one over here because I want the adjoining center section to be flat. I have three of these together now and all the sections in the middle are such that the front face will be flat. These will be three. I still haven't tightened the zip ties totally tight yet because I want to give some room to work this. Once everything is assembled then I'll tighten it all together. Here's the rack fully assembled and it's using the seven pieces of 16 by 6 foot wire racks zip tied together. You'll see I have what would look like if looked at from the end a giant eye type formation. This could be put together any number of different ways or you could split up the racks and make maybe two single standing racks in a triangular type formation. Really it's pretty flexible. You can hook it together any way you want uh, and it should work out fine. Here's how I'm intending to hang the canvases on the rack. Simply get some large paper clips about like this. You can see the scale of this uh, related to my hand. These are probably about uh, an inch and a half, two inch paper clips. Smaller ones would probably work. I think these will work a little easier. I'm going to show you how we bend this open and use it in just a second here. I simply opened up the paper clip and so now I have what looks like a big S. I'll show you how we hook this to the canvas here in a second. Most of the canvases seem to come with these sawtooth hangers already mounted on them, the ones I've been ordering anyway. So I'm simply going to take this and hook it on the back like so, through the sawtooth hanger. And now I'm ready to hang this on the rack. So simply hang it on the rack, just like that. Here's a close-up of how that is hanging on the back there. We can keep focus, there we go. That's it hanging on the back. We'll show you from the back side. And there's a shot of it hanging on the back side. This has a single sawtooth hanger. We'll show you with a double here in just a second. There you go with two canvases hanging on the rack. I'll show you the back side of the larger one here momentarily. I'm also going to show you, of course, how you can hang them on the end. It's pretty straightforward, however. Back side of the canvas with the double hanger on the back. There's the first one, and there's the second one. Very, very simple. These could be wrapped around and bent over if you wanted to add additional security to keep people from quickly taking them off, although I don't know that that would be a real problem. Mounted on the end, and by mounting these front and back on all sides, you could get quite a few canvases on here of various sizes. Here would be another configuration if you chose to do it, simply doing kind of a rippled wall. This is using four of the panels. You could use all seven if you wanted to. Of course, again, uh, doing something like this will limit how large a photo you can hang on them, uh, but there are probably other ways you can do it. Certainly lots of flexibility in this design. Even multiple sets of two would work just fine as well. Uh, I have seven here, so you could have three sets of two and you had one set left over, or you could have two sets of two and one set of three, any type of combination that you might want to put together. Uh, simply getting an angle and these seem to stand fairly sturdily. 
One thing you definitely want to make sure you bring is a pair of small wire cutters so that you can take this apart when you're all done. Uh, this is the best tool and it makes it really simple and easy to get them apart. You just simply clip the wire. Also when you get done and get the thing put together it's nice to trim up the ends so that you don't have big long ends sticking out. Uh, and again the wire cutters are just the tool for that.